In this lesson, we are going to look at um, multiplying numbers in exponential form and how to um, use properties to help us um, simplify those in a quicker fashion. Okay, um, make sure you have your student copy of the um, multiplication of numbers in exponential form from unbounded um, website or from your teacher. Okay, so um, here is our general property. We're going to start off with that um, in general, if x is any number and m, n are positive integers, then x to the m times x to the n is equal to x to the m plus n. So in other words, when you multiply numbers that have the same base, right, they both have the base of x, you can take their exponents and just simply add them. Okay, so for example, if you have like 2 squared, and you have like, oops, multiplying with 2 to the third. Actually, I'll put that right here. Okay, that's equal to 2 times 2, right? That's the 2 squared. And then times 2 to the third, so 2 times 2 times 2. But you can see here, this is just a bunch of 2s. How many 2s are there that we're multiplying? Just 5 2s. So this is really just 2 to the fifth. And how do we get that? Well, it's 2 plus 3 makes 5. Okay? So, let's take a look at this in practice. So, for example, right here, same base, add the exponents. So, it's 14 to the 23 plus 8, which is 14 to the 31. Okay? Um, here in this next one, for 2, there should be parentheses around this negative 72 and this negative 72. So again, are the bases the same? Yes, they are. So we can add the exponents. So to the 23. Okay? So on and so forth, right? So same thing here. Same base, add the exponents. So let's see here. 94 plus 78 would be 172, I want to say. <coughs> Yes. Okay, so 5 to the 172. Um, here again, should be parentheses, add the exponents, 14th. Okay. Um, variables, same principle, right? Same base, right? They both have an A as a base, so add them up. 31. Um, F, same thing. It's a base. It's the same base, so add them up. 23. Okay. B, same idea. 172. <coughs> So here in this case, all right, we're trying to figure out what x is going to be, right? So we have the same base, and we're multiplying, and this is 9, this is x. So in other words, we're going to know that negative 3 to the 9 plus x, right on this side, will equal negative 3 to the 14th. Well, with the same base, that means these exponents also have to be equal. So we'll just set 9 plus x equal to 14 and solve. Subtract 9 on both sides x is 5. So in other words, 9 plus 5 gives 14. Okay, let's continue on. What happens if there's more terms? Well, what do you guys think? We can do these together as a single problem if you want to. That'll become 9 to the 10th. And then we'll still have the 9 to the 13th. Still multiplication, still the same base. So, we can go ahead and just add those exponents, 9 to the 23rd. So in other words, just add up all the exponents again, since it's all multiplication. Same thing here, too. <clears throat> so 3, 5, 8, plus 7, 15, plus 9, 24. Okay. Or 23. Oh, 24. Okay. All right. Why don't you guys go ahead and try these following exercises here on your own. See what you can do. Pause the video. Try it for yourself. <clears throat> okay. So hopefully you paused the video. Maybe you went ahead and played it, though, because I can see that some of these are slightly different. You can see some of these bases are different. So we don't want to combine all these exponents together. Right? Only the ones with the same base. So, for example, the 6 to the 5th will multiply with what else? The 6 to the 14th. In fact, in math, we're allowed to rearrange multiplication, so we could rewrite it like this. In which case, we can, we can combine these two together to get 6 to the 19th, 
and combine these two together to get 4 to the 12th. Okay, so now that you've seen that, maybe go ahead and try the rest of these exercises up through um, 16. Okay, 14. You can see here, I'm oh, sorry, we'll do 12 next. Again, should be parentheses around these negative 4s. So this will be negative 4 to the 5th and 17 to the 12th. Um, this right here will be 7 to the 6th and 15 to the 3rd. Uh, this right here, 8 is the same as 2 to the 3rd, so this is kind of interesting. They rewrote the 8 squared as 2 to the 6th here. So really you can go ahead and just do this one, which becomes 2 to the 10th. Okay, again they rewrote the 9 as 3 squared, so we can do 3 to the 7th times um, 3 to the 2nd, like this right here, which gets 3 to the 9. And then finally for this last one here, um, um, 5 and 2 are not the same base, so we're just going to have to leave it as 5 to the 4th times 2 to the 11th. Okay, um, we'll go on to exercise 17 in the next video.